always like to say that, you know, it was because I was really cool. People ask you, how did you become an astronaut? I was like, it was, I was, yeah, NASA found me because I was so great. <laughs> but I just applied, just like everyone else, Leland, Jerry, right? We just apply, right? I had this incredible opportunity to board this space shuttle. I always forget, did you look up and see that that's like the endeavor? That's the real thing. That's not a fake thing. That's the real thing. It's been in space. It's gone. 17,000 miles per hour. It's the undersurface of it has been heated up to over 2,000 degrees. That's the real thing. You notice the title about this is 25 Strong, Live Deeply and Look Up. It's about 25 strong. It's not a retrospective. It's being able to take a certain point in time and think about the foundation, the base that you built and how do you move forward. That's what I see it as. How do you find this foundation and base? What do you do with your place at the table? It was great. I was an astronaut. That was really cool. It was really cool. But what difference would it make if I were an astronaut, if I did not take the information that I had learned, the skill sets, and apply them to new things? Live deeply and look up. Live deeply. You don't know where your friends are going to be. You don't know the people who are going to touch your lives and continue on. And so you have to make, pay attention. It means you have to feel every moment. You don't put it aside. You have to actually feel it inside of here, no matter whether or not it's a really happy moment or it's a sad moment. Go on and feel it, experience those things. Now, when I say look up, I mean look up. This is a 3D world that we're living in. Look up. Uh, go ahead, do it, try it. It's easy, look up. When you look up, perhaps like me, you feel this special relationship with the universe and the earth, right? It all of a sudden takes you into infinity and forever. You get to touch all of that. Throughout time in history, regardless of age, gender, culture, or language, human beings have always looked up. And in one way or another, imagined that their destiny was some kind of way intertwined with what happened in the heavens. Right now, we're living in the most prosperous time in the entire history of this planet. We're living in a country that has the most incredible material wealth. We have enough to feed everyone on this planet. We have the knowledge to know where we're going. So when I ask you to join Look Up, it's about making sure that one day we all take the time to think about where we are. We look up and understand that even though we're looking toward the sky, we're actually thinking about our home here and the fact that we can get further if we explore, if we're not timid. We have to look up. I want you to take the time to write down some of your favorite things because those are the things that will keep you going as you live deeply and look up. Thank you very much.